Scientists just built the first mini-brain with multiple brain regions that can work together. In the past, studying the brain meant invasive methods. I present to you the lobotomy. Surgery, electrodes that threaded deep into neural tissue, or even removing sections of the brain to see what functions stop working. But now, scientists have a better option. These fleshy tic tacs are actually clumps of stem cell derived tissue known as organoids. And each small cell cluster mimics the functions of a single brain region. But without blood vessels supporting cells or multiple specialized regions, they're nowhere near the complexity of a real human brain. In order to make a more accurate model, a team of researchers at Johns Hopkins University just grew the world's first multi region brain organoid. They started by growing separate organoids for the cerebrum, midbrain, and hindbrain. Then they added support cells that form blood vessels and specialized neurons. Neurons. They fused all these components together using extracellular matrix proteins, basically nature's superglue. And after leaving the brain to grow for another 20 days, it was just 4 millimeters across, but contained over 6 million neurons. And researchers found that instead of staying confined to their own neighborhoods, the neurons in each brain region had branched out and were sending signals across the borders, communicating with other regions. Incredibly, the brains showed 80% similarity to a 40-day-year-old human embryo's brain, a level of realism never seen before in lab-grown models. The brain even developed an early blood-brain barrier, the brain's security system for controlling what enters and exits. This breakthrough could help scientists understand neurodevelopment and watch how disorders like autism or schizophrenia may take shape. It also offers a faster and safer way to test brain-targeting drugs. If you love science and want a front-row seat to the rise of the 4mm brain empire, uh -oh. follow for more.